All right, guys, what is up? Sean Ames here from Heart of America FPV, and I've got an announcement to make. We are doing a big, ginormous drone race July 3rd, 4th, and 5th right here in Moberly, Missouri. Took last year off because of the, where IO landed, and we were going to do the same this year, but since IO got postponed, we brought it back, and that is uh, doing our July 4th drone race. This was a, a year we definitely wanted to try to do because July 4th is on the weekend. What we've done is we've partnered with the guys over at 533, that is Armando, and Evan Turner, heads up FPV, the two-time multi-GP global champion. So Evan's also a rookie this year coming into DRL we look forward to some nice battles between him and some of the veteran pilots over there so they've got their company 533 Mondo designed the switchback specifically for Evan they sell that frame they've got motors now Evan's got a signature prop and so we've partnered with them and we are doing this race weekend they've put up a chunk of money it's going to be an amazing time so I just wanted to tell you guys about it we're calling it the freedom spec race weekend and essentially it is three races kind of crammed into one weekend Friday night July 3rd we're going to do registration at heart of america field we're gonna have a bit of a like welcome and meet and greet on friday night you can come go ahead and get the kind of pre-registered for the next morning we're also going to do tiny trainer like fun fly we're going to have a tiny trainer specific track built at heart of america field so that should be pretty slick so we're doing that friday night july 3rd in regard to the tiny trainer obviously it has to be a tiny trainer frame no more than a 3s battery are the only things we're specking for the tiny trainer racing so friday night tiny trainer race meet and greet pre-register at my house from about 5 p.m. to something like midnight. Um, that's happening July 3rd. Then on July 4th, out at what's called the Howard Hills Athletic Complex. That is where our city does their citywide like July 4th celebration. But as of right now, they're still planning on doing a normal event and that would include like food vendors, live music, activities for the family, like a beer garden, all that kind of stuff out there at the Howard Hills Sports Complex. And then we would be on essentially a baseball field for that event. Now, if they don't have the citywide event, we're still doing the drone race we might switch up what field we're on but uh, it'll be at the same location the primary track as i'm calling it so saturday we're doing what we are calling the freedom spec uh, the big money race is really going to be this freedom spec race what the freedom spec is you can run any frame you can run any flight controller any esc use any camera or any analog video system antenna any rx tx like it, you know you can run almost anything you want but what is spec are the things that matter for performance and that is the motors the prop and the battery are all spec'd. So you have to run the Heads Up FPV 533, 2207, 1960KV motors, uh, the Heads Up motors as they're more uh, commonly known. So you have to use those motors. You also have to use the R38 prop from HQ, which is the Heads Up prop as well. You have to use any 3S battery. So motors, prop, battery, and then there's a minimum weight of 460 grams. And that, my friend, is what we now know as the freedom spec. Why the freedom spec? Because there's a lot of freedom in regard to what parts you use other than the motors and the props. And uh, this is America. And this is uh, the weekend that we celebrate our independence and freedom. And uh, we've all been <laughs> trapped in our houses for the last three months. And uh, we're excited to get out and do some drone racing. So yeah, this is the freedom spec. That Saturday, we're going to start the event around 1030 AM. There'll be a pilot briefing. And then we're going to go right into qualifying. Qualifying will be based on your best single heat. We're going to do a two minute finish your lap format which should be no problem with the freedom spec and then we're going to roll into some sort of double elimination bracket the exact details of that bracket will depend on how many people are registered at the time of the event but we're going to have a bracket that night finals we're going to try to time that to where the finals are right before fireworks which should be around 9 30 p.m 9 30 p.m there's a citywide big fireworks display right out there where we're at afterwards we're going to all head back to heart of america field anyone that's interested in flying a tiny trainer and saturday night late night let's say from 10 30 or 11 till 2 a.m we're going to do a proper tiny trainer race there at Heart of America Field. So in regard to the Freedom Spec race, we're going to be giving away $2,000 at least. We're going to give away at least $2,000. Now, if we have end up having more than 25, 30 participants, that prize money is going to scale up with the size of event. So if we hit our cap of 60 pilots, then there's a good chance there'll be more like $4,000 up for grabs for that prize pool. So we're pretty pumped about that. You'll probably see some more sponsor announcements in the coming weeks. 
but we've been chatting with some and that kind of thing. And then one other kind of cool point about prize money. So two-time multi-GP champion, pretty much uh, the guy that is unbeatable here on American soil, Evan Turner, heads up FEV. His company is the title sponsor for the event, and he has decided that uh, any prize money is going to skip him. So even if he wins the whole thing and you get second place, well, you're going to get first place money. So that's kind of a cool thing. We're going to be paying five spots with a $2,000 prize pool. I think first place is getting 800 bucks. It's going to be some pretty good money. And I'm pretty confident that with us doing this spec racing, we might see a little bit of a mix up in regard to the podium. It might not be the normal guys that we're used to seeing. We're going to get a real feel for who knows how to race lines and who's just really good at their Twitch uh, reflexes. We're pretty pumped about that. Freedom spec Saturday, all day, July 4th, fireworks after fireworks. Then we're coming back to Heart of America Field. We're doing the tiny trainer race. That's going to have some money too. We're going to be giving away at least 250 bucks. It might be uh, gift cards to a sponsor. It might be something different, but. Um, but we're going to be giving away 250 bucks to the tiny trainer race as well. The only spec for that is you have to have a tiny trainer frame, no more than a 3S battery. So uh, we'll have a pretty cool like night track put up for that. Should be a blast. That'll end around 2 a.m. We're going to go get a little bit of sleep. And then Sunday, 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 we're going to have a Sunday fun day there at Howard Hills uh, Athletic Complex. We're going to head back out and we're going to race the Freedom Spec track, but we're going to be racing open class. Yeah, Sunday will just be a fun race. There's no money up for grabs. We'll probably have medals or something for the open class winners on Sunday, but uh, we're going to do an open class race until around 4 p.m. And then uh, you guys can all head on out, head to the hotel, get some food, whatever you do. And uh, at that point, really the event is over. So kind of an additional programming note is I've also lined up a backup venue for rain. So I travel to a lot of events and, and a lot of times I'm super worried about going to an event. You know, if I feel like the weather is going to be bad, you know, because I'm going to put out all this money for travel and lodging and that kind of thing, you know, you're kind of like flipping a coin hoping that the weather is good. July 4th is typically one of the driest times of the year here in central Missouri, but we've got a backup rain venue. It is what's called the Riley Pavilion. It's a 100 foot by 200 foot metal building covered. We will put a track inside of there and still be able to hold the event if we have some rain or threats of rain and that kind of thing. So pretty pumped about that actually because the show must go on. We're super pumped up about it. Obviously three races in one. AMA is required, 25 milliwatts. There is a registration fee that's one thing I wanted to do in this video is kind of go over the process of getting registered. There's going to be a link in the description, but they will take you right there. But to do that, you can go to fly533.com. So we'll go to the, the mother page here. Click on shop. Here is the registration right here. Freedom spec event registration. Now the registration is 50 bucks. What you do here, you're going to fill out your pilot handle, AMA number, phone number. If you want to say something clever or witty, you can do that there. You want to add the registration to your cart, but what five? 533 is done that is really special. They are giving you an incredible discount on a set of motors. As you can see down here, registration is 50 bucks, but pay close attention. Yeah, buddy. With that registration, you get a coupon code, which allows you to purchase one set of spec motors for just 50 bucks. The set of motors is typically like 88 bucks. That coupon code is freedom spec. So I'm going to go ahead and select that and copy it. And then we can come back out here to shop. Click on the motors here. Here's the motors. Now, do note that uh, as I'm making this video today, when we launched this, they did sell out of the remaining stock of motors, but they've got another batch of motors that are in production, should be hitting the shipper pretty soon and uh, back in stock. So we're confident that these will be here in plenty of time for the event. But go ahead and add a set that's normally $87.96 for a set of motors, um, which is honestly an incredible deal. $87.96, so you add that to the cart. And uh, while you're here at 533, you might wanna go into the shop and pick you up a tiny trainer so you can do the tiny trainer race. You might wanna pick up a switchback if you're not already flying that. It's an incredible frame. Been flying it since before Nats. Some SFGs, uh, they've got the Pro Tiny Titanium Kit now, which helps get those freaking switchback builds down to like 250 grams with full-size motors, which which is bananas, but you might want to add more sets of motors. You might want to get two or three sets of motors, whatever you want. But yeah, so you add all your stuff and when you're ready, you head to the cart, click view cart. Then you want to put in your coupon code, freedom spec. Watch this, watch what happens. So let's click free shipping, apply coupon. Watch, watch this. 
Bam! Look at that. So $38 removed. You're getting essentially the best drone racing motors available for $50. Bucks. Um, that's bananas. And you would check out and uh, you're all set. So once you've done that, you are registered. I'll get an email with your AMA and phone number and that kind of thing. So that'll happen. But I didn't want to show you on the product screen here in kind of the explanation it talks about the event in general. And then we've got full info here on a Google Doc. And uh, that's up here. I went ahead and put together a full kind of breakdown of the entire event the freedom spec race weekend we've got the overview schedule itinerary registration information rules general event information prize pool information local lodging points of interest and even my favorite restaurants and that's all there if you want to go check that out links to the components that are spec a recommended battery china hobby line it's literally eleven dollars for a great 3s battery that i think will serve you well here's a link to the primary race venue here's a link a drop pin to Heart of America Field with the address. This right here is just a picture of the pavilion that we have as a rain backup. Here is a map of the general area, but a beautiful park here. But yeah, that's it. So that's that is that. If you got questions about any of the rules, it is all lined out there in extraordinary detail. If you have questions though, you can absolutely email me at shames at heartofamerica.com. Our primary source of information is actually gonna be our Facebook group and that is set up here, Freedom Spec Weekend Private Group. Um, if I see that you register, I'll try to add you to this group, but you can look it up and add yourself if you like. Um, but that's where we're going to have like announcements and uh, just keep you in the loop. If anyone has any questions along the way, they can ask here in the Freedom Spec Weekend Facebook group. So that's there. Also, once you're registered, we will add you to the official event on multigp.com because we are a multi-GP chapter. We really appreciate what they do for us and the hobby. And so we'll be getting everyone entered in there. If we end up doing set frequency assignments, that will be all handled here on multigp.com. But as you can see, heads up FPV, two-time multi-GP champ. He is confirmed to be there. Obviously, Armando is also confirmed to be there. Shames, that schmuck is going to be there. Another DRL rookie this year Amari is going to be there hyper and uh, our buddy flyboy from southern illinois he's going to be there as well so far that's just in the first couple hours of this being open so uh, we look for this to fill up we're probably going to cap it at 60 pilots just so it's a good amount of batteries and a good experience for everyone that comes yeah that's it guys i just wanted to give you that rundown of how it's going to work details of all the fun that's going to be had and uh, let you know that we would love to have you and encourage you to get signed up and uh it's literally going to be a party so guys thanks for checking this out if you have questions post them in the comments shoot me an email but really what you need to do is just head on over there to fly533.com get registered and let's have ourselves a little fpv family reunion this summer that's it guys thanks for checking out we'll catch you next time on heart of america fpv later